San Gervais La Faye has not one, but two new lifts opened now, September, ahead of the coming winter ski season. Now, these are going to be a game changer, not just for the socialisers of us who live down this way, but it's the final link in the chain which makes Chamonix and San Gervais properly interlinked ski resorts. This is something that's been missing for years, but it's finally now here. Up until now, if you'd wanted to go skiing in San Gervais from Chamonix or vice versa, there was always this gap from the train station down in La Faye up to the bottom of the Conda at La Betex, or indeed vice versa. Sure, there was a bus that ran between the two, but it was incredibly infrequent. It was only one an hour, and when I say bus, it was basically a people carrier. It could fit six, seven people in max, and if everyone had skis, there was no chance you'd fit that many people in it. It's basically just a big car. So yeah, while San Gervais and Chamonix claimed to be interlinked ski areas, they really weren't. But now that's all changing. The gondola, which runs from the train station up to the Betex car park, has been in the planning for years, if not decades. More on that in a second video. But first, what came as a little bit of a surprise, they've also built a second lift in much quicker period of time, which runs from Park for Mau, which is where I'm heading now, up to centre of San Gervais town. So, this is an ascensure rather than a ski lift per se. It's based like a big elevator or a little funicular railway, which you'll see in a second. But it serves much the same purpose. We'll get you and your skis or bike or whatever from down here in the fire, up there to San Gervais. And the best thing about it is, or rather the two best things really is, first of all, it's completely free. No need for any kind of lift pass or ticket or anything. You just walk straight on. And secondly, it runs from 6 a.m. in the morning all the way to 11 p.m. at night every day, seven days a week. So not only is it effectively a ski lift, but it's also free public transport, which means you can use it to get to and from work or as I'm doing now, to go out for a beer. If you want to take the ride, all you have to do is press the button. So, it doesn't quite take you into the heart of town, it's still a two or three minute walk this way, but it's a vast improvement from having to walk up and down to the fire after you've had a few beers in the dark through the woods. So yeah, it's gonna make a massive difference to our social life, that's for sure. But not only that, it's gonna massively reduce the amount of traffic that has to drive up and down this narrow windy mountain road to get up into San Bay town, which as well as easing congestion, of course, brings massive environmental benefits, reduces the air, reduces the air pollution, CO2 emissions, etc. And to top it all off, the lift itself is almost totally powered by water as well. So yeah, it's got some seriously impressive green credentials. 